Okay, so in this video, we're going to focus on taking the result data that we're getting from the API, still the hard-coded California, and displaying it using HTML. So all that we need to do really is take this results data and send it to a template. So first thing we need to do is configure our app. So app.set view engine, and I always forget about this space here, and I try and do view engine, but it's not the case. We need a space, and we're going to set it to EJS. And save, and we already have that required and installed from our package.json. Then what we'll do is make our views directory. So make directory views. Then we will create the file views slash results.ejs. Okay, now let's go ahead and open up that file which is in here views results.ejs start simple with an h1 results page should be review um, rather than doing this res.send gonna get rid of that and do a res.render results so that should render results.ejs let's just double check start up the server no problems. There we go. We get results page. Excellent. So all we need to do is pass this data into our template so that we can use it. So it's going to be confusing naming everything results. Let's change the name here to just data. Then we'll pass that in. So we'll say inside the template data is data. So pass this parsed body called data into our template and we'll just keep the name as data. And that's it. Now in our template we have access to data. And if we just save it like that, and I'll need to restart the server and refresh, you just see an object. But we know what that object looks like and this is where it's helpful to use a JSON viewer. It looks like this, and we know that we're going to need to access the search key, and then we have an array, and we'll need to loop through that array with a for loop or uh, a for each, and we'll display each title. So let's give it a shot. First thing is we want data search, and we don't need to display it anymore. So we're going to do a loop on data search. So again, that gives us this array here. So it's an array, we can loop through it. We'll do a for each. And we'll call each one a movie. And then add our closing braces here that I always forget about. And we'll start simple by displaying movie title. Great, and let's display each one as an li, just like that. And let's see what happens. So we're accessing search inside of data, and then we're running for, for each on that, for each movie, make an li with the title. And there we go. That is a list of movies that we're getting from that API. So we could go here and change California to now be um, Iowa. Restart it. And 10 different movies slash TV shows that <laughs> CSI Iowa um, that have Iowa in the title. Vanilla Ice Live at the Iowa State Fair. Cool. So that's all there is to the results page well, almost all there is. Now we need to hook it up to a search page that doesn't exist yet. And that search page is going to have a form. And this right here, Iowa, will actually be a variable that will be coming from that form. So it won't always be Iowa. It will be whatever the user types in to the search route. So in the next video, we'll set up the search route and get it connected to the results page. Awesome.